everybody and welcome back to the Board Game Back Cave segment on how to build the ultimate gaming table and that's how I build the ultimate gaming table, not necessarily how you should build the ultimate gaming table because uh, it's far be it from me to tell anybody how to do that because uh, I already have my first mistake which we're going to talk about in the last video in the series I put on the screen that I was and I said I was measuring the, the uh, height of the leg to be 20 and a half inches well, since then, I have uh, decided that 21 and a half inches is actually a better measurement. And uh, I had already cut my other two legs to 21 and a half inches in order to cut them down to size. But this one I went ahead and cut down to size, and I probably shouldn't have. So uh, there you go. I told you I would be going through the mistakes as I met them. So my solution is either going to be spend another five hours uh, making cutting another piece of wood down to size or I may have a, a method in which I can add an inch to the bottom and then uh, it should blend in with my uh, uh, trim work which uh, we'll see how that goes um, that was always a possibility and that's the whole reason I'm using trim I mean the whole reason anybody uses trim really is to hide their corners and mistakes so We'll see how that goes, but either way, this is the finished leg that you'll be seeing in this video, um, which was cut down to the 20 and a half inches, but I went ahead and trimmed it down before I realized I wanted to make the table at 21 and a half inches. So just be aware that uh, in the last video, and I put an edit on it, that uh, it is not going to be a 20 and a half inch finished product. Either way, though, the rest of it went smoothly. I cut the four sides down. I've still got to do some uh, plane work on them to make them smooth. And uh, right now they're a little rough, but they look good and everything came out like I wanted it to. The biggest point in this series, in this video though, that you're going to see today, mostly it's just me sawing the sides away, so there's not really much to learn. Uh, but you will see that my son got involved in it, and that's the whole reason I'm doing this project. Uh, without electricity is so that I can do it around my kids and not with ear hearing protection and I actually finished the, the last half of or the last side of this leg I think um, sawing it off with my while watching my two-year-old uh, who played outside around me so it, it's it, it was very important to me that I get my kids involved and you'll see in this video how he helped me out and uh, and it kind of became now it's a family table rather than just my project. So uh, I encourage all of you at this Christmas time to do something with your kids. And um, this is what I'm doing with my kids. And uh, Merry Christmas if I don't see you between now and uh, Christmas. And uh, I hope you stay tuned for the rest of the table because we're going to figure out how to do uh, the rest of it. This. Uh, leg right here is the fourth leg and which will be the last leg that we need to make and I've already measured it up to 21 and a half inches I've got chisel marks on it ready to cut I'm just waiting for a day a break from all the birthday parties and Christmas parties and Thanksgiving and all that other thing we had this uh, going on to finish cutting up this leg and uh, I won't be making a video on how to do it it's just like this one but the next video will continue on from there so I hope everybody enjoys it. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. And uh, the next video will probably be after the New Year. So I'll see you then.
Alright, so there you have it. First side's done. Now you can see why Geek Sheet charges so much for these tables. Uh, so next we're going to take off the other three sides, but you want to start, now that you've got this side taken off, you want to start on a 90 degree side. You wouldn't want to go on this side because then you have to go through the same amount of wood you had to on this side. So well, that's taking off the next side and then the next side and then the next side in succession. You'll cut down on your work some. Subpar equipment. Old people with no skills. We're still getting it done. Every time I start thinking this is difficult, I think about my great grandfather who built a house, not just a table with no electricity. Back to work.
like I flipped this thing excessively, but I don't want to hit the metal bar underneath here with my saw. And it gives me an excuse to take a break. that by hand. This is why woodworkers invented trim by the way. Look at the bottom of that table leg. You see that brown trim that goes all the way around it. That's for this reason right here.
right, let's get to work. this thing from slipping whenever you're tapering it. And it's wider at one end than the other. This table helps a little bit, but you gotta watch it. People back in the late 1800s still it'll be 98 years old, even though they ate eggs and ham and bacon every morning.
What are you doing, buddy? Okay. You holding that for me? Yeah. Thank you. That's like a par. Huh? That's like a par. I saw it. I saw it all. I cut it off. You don't have to hold it, but thank you. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm cutting it apart. What are these? Those are levels. What are these? They're bubbles. This is another reason for hand tools. Your two year old can participate. I'm sorry, Daddy. It's okay. Just put it down over there if you want to. I'm sorry, Daddy. Here, put that right there. Put it on the step. There's something in there. Yeah, on my screen. Is it a bug? Yeah. Can you take care of it? No. Do I need to go help? Alright. Here's a couple of
No, I don't need it right now. Thank you, babe. Right now. Okay. Thank you, though. Watch out, Daddy. That's good. Not the hit with. Three legs down. 